Hey Dave, watch this. John P. The collapse of the caveman love connection? The president's portable fortress and Blockbuster's last stand. I'm John P. Geek Beat starts now. This episode of Geek Beat is brought to you by Carbonite. Up front, the coolest man cave ever belongs to the president. While the world was watching the inauguration of US President Barack Obama's second term, here at Geek Beat, we were admiring his ride, the presidential limo nicknamed The Beast. This caddy comes complete with all sorts of sweet features, including eight inch thick titanium doors, tear gas cannons, night vision cameras, its own oxygen supply, and who knows how many cup holders. Meanwhile, across the pond, there's a controversy over saving endangered birds in New Zealand by doing away with cats. I can totally get behind that. <laughs> Two big problems here. First, New Zealand is fighting to save its native bird species. Second, while many blame cats for their demise, New Zealand leads the world in cat ownership per person. No, no, we don't gnaw on our kitty. And you've heard of angry birds, but how about angry bees? I'll tell you all about them when you have a word from our sponsor. Okay, you know how I was just about to tell you a cool story and then I totally left you hanging? Well, that's what happens when you have a computer disaster. You're sitting there working on something really awesome and then all of a sudden, BAM! You're not doing that anymore. <laughs> it's times like these when you're sitting around thinking, I wish I had Carbonite. Because then, all your precious files will be backed up to the Carbonite cloud. So, when the big crash comes, and it will, just as sure as California is gonna slide off the continental shelf and create a new Ice Age movie starring Bruce Willis where he has to shoot a nuclear warhead into a giant alien ship hovering over one of several cities before the green men come wearing little glass bowls on their heads and you have to smash them to kill them. Anyway, make sure you're already prepared. Dave's gonna hate me when he has to edit that. Head on over to Carbonite.com and use coupon code GEEKBEAT for your free trial and two free months of service. It's 59 bucks a year, folks. That's a small price to save the world. A TV news crew in Florida using a remote-controlled quadcopter for some aerial shots stirred up a hornet's nest. Well, actually, it was a beehive. Anyway, the bees took exception to the buzzing rotors and began attacking the drone, then targeted the news crew once the quadcopter returned for a landing. Fortunately, there were no serious injuries. By now, you've probably heard that a Harvard genetics professor is looking for a surrogate mother for the Neanderthal baby. I know a few of those. Which would be produced from resequenced Neanderthal DNA. Turns out, this was just a misunderstanding. The professor was explaining a theory to a German reporter and something got lost in the translation. So ignore all of those single caveman looking for love ads in Craigslist. Finally, word comes that Blockbuster is planning to lay off another 3,000 employees by closing another 300 stores. This is shocking on a couple of levels. First, who knew Blockbuster still owned 300 stores? Second, have that many customers not switched to Redbox or Amazon? I'm John P. I cut the cord a long time ago, so what's keeping you from doing the same? Let me know on Google Plus and Twitter. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, head on over to youtube.com forward slash geekbeat. Give us a great big thumbs up. Hey Dave, watch this. Back up to the Carbonite Cloud. Ugh, I need to just do that over. I can't get my words out today. Man, I need some water. Oh, not that kind of water.